For those of you that don't follow me on Twitter, you might be wondering why there is a video titled this or what I am doing on a brand new account with 24,000 FIFA points. So, if you don't follow me on Twitter, well, first of all, go and follow me on Twitter, the link is down in the description. But, that aside, why am I on a new account? Why are we doing this experiment? And what on earth has happened to my main account? To cut a very, 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 very long story short, essentially, my main account's foot club has been deleted. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. By EA, because apparently I was distributing coins. So, obviously, that, that isn't true. Like, the only thing I could possibly think of is I have been caught up in some ban wave or checking thing where they seen me record a video on Tuesday where I minimum listed a man of the match Talisker worth about 140,000 coins for I think 15k and then about an hour later my account was gone. Yeah. I wasn't even at home when they did it. I was at the premiere of the new Tomb Raider so I wasn't doing anything dodgy on my account. My Xbox was still logged in at home because I'm terrible for turning it off so there was nobody else on my Xbox, on my account, anything like that. They've just full on banned me for absolutely nothing. It's a bit ridiculous. Hopefully I'm going to get it fixed. Hopefully I'm going to get it sorted out. But because of that, this weekend we are going to struggle to make videos. So I thought, why not turn this horrendous situation with my account that I have spent far too much money on, lost far too many coins on Squabbler Showdown and recorded hundreds of videos. Why not turn that into something? I mean, at least, po at least we get a video out of it, essentially, is what I'm saying. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an experiment to see if having a new account gets you better players because... There is always a lot of conspiracies about how Packluck works. Now, I quite like the guys at EA. Like, obviously, I understand EA is not a single person. It's not one horrible person deciding these things that we think we hate about the game. It's a huge corporation, and 99.9% .9 of the time, the people coding the game and that I actually speak to and know the names of and know and everything like that, and have met in real life and stuff, it's not up to them to make the decisions. It's some CEO or whatever trying to make millions of pounds and stuff like that. So, yeah. I can't be going hating on the guys and hopefully they are going to help me get my account back. But there is a lot of conspiracies and a lot of different things that have kind of been proven to be true that are a little bit naughty throughout the years of FIFA. And to be honest with you, if I was designing a game where I want, where the prime point, the primary point of the game, like this is even, like the CEO of EA has done meetings and interviews and everything and confirmed this. Like they cancelled an insane Star Wars game because it didn't have microtransactions in it. Essentially, I mean, the guy who is the CEO of EA at the moment got there by having such massive success with microtransactions. Basically, what I'm saying, the point of Ultimate Team is to get people to buy FIFA points. I think we can all agree on that. So, if I'm thinking about it logically, if I wanted to hook someone in to buy in FIFA points, when they first buy and spend some FIFA points, what do you do? You give them a taste of the goodness. This is basic psychology. One of the things I did in my degree was about the psychobiology of drug addiction. So how your brain uses... I, I'm, I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> Basically what happens, if you give someone a little taste of something, it makes them try harder to get it again, even if they don't get it. So there's experiments done on this with rats where they give them like sugar water. And if they press a lever and they get sugar water, they'll be like, oh, sugar water. And then they'll go mental pressing the lever. And even when they don't get any more sugar water, they keep pressing the lever, hoping to get it. So the psychology of it is give people good packs the first time they buy FIFA points and they'll keep buying FIFA points. Once they, once they start just buying them all the time, like I do on my main account, you don't even have to give them good stuff to get them to keep buying it. Just give them whatever you want. Give them crap. Give them stuff to just fill the market. Give them consumables. But the first time, if you want to get them hooked, you give them something good. So, we're going to test that theory today. Obviously, I am talking about this a little bit scientifically and stuff, but this isn't particularly scientific with me just with my 24,000 FIFA points on one new account. But we can have a little test anyway and see what we think. Let me know if you guys got good pack luck the first time you ever bought FIFA points as opposed to you continuing buying enough FIFA points or if you've never bought them and never got pack luck or whatever. Let me know down in the comment section. We've got some 100k packs and I bought 24,000 FIFA points on this account. So let's just jump in and see what we can get. The brand new Path to Glories are in packs. So hopefully we can pull something mental. We're starting off with a walkout in the first bloody pack. Oh my God. Okay, I, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing. <laughs> Walk out in the first pack. I mean, are you thinking what I'm thinking? 
Are you thinking that I'm now going to spend all these FIFA points trying to get another walkout and it mightn't give me one, but then I'm going to buy more FIFA points and hopefully get another... And that's what EA thinking, that's what EA are trying to get me. Or are they going to keep giving me good stuff until I run out and hope that I buy more? We're about to find out. Let's see what else we've got in this pack because 88 Ericsson is a quality first pack on this account. That is pretty mental. As you can see, it's my, literally the first time I've been on this account. I've got one loss from Rage quitting the stupid tutorial game. We got ourselves a couple of 83s. And, of course, that Ericsson, who is worth about 40,000 coins. So, brilliant. I've already packed someone basically as high rated as the highest player I've ever got on my main account, ever. Awesome. What are we going to get in the next one? We have got some 125Ks coming in about 20 minutes as well. But we might just get through them all on 100Ks. It's a nice round number of 1,000 pair. This one is Brahimi. Okay. He's still 84. But that, that's more that's my that's my normal level of pack luck. That's what I'm usually getting on my main account before they delete it. <laughs> oh, it makes me so sad. Jesus Christ, right. 84 Brahimi, 83 Jar Mario, 83, 83. All of these are new players. I'm just gonna pop them all in my club. We might do some SBCs. Oh no, we can't because the good ones for these Path to Glory, you actually need Path to Glory, and I'm not gonna have any coins. Whatever. Let's grab another hundred K pack. Come on. Saw me out with something good. Not a path to glory. See, the problem with this is, if I do get something good, I can't put these coins onto my other... Oh, wait, have we got any Esther? Oh, my God, we've just got another walkout. We've got two walkouts in three packs. The problem with this is, I'm going to have more coins on this account than I actually had on my other account before it got banned by the end of this pack opening. And I can't do it. Well, I mean, I could just switch this one because I've got more coins. But I can't even like, get them over onto the same account because they've, well, because they've banned me for coin distributing. And that would actually be coin distributing. <laughs> oh, this is so tragic. Two in, two walkouts not informs in the first three packs. And we got Miranda as well. He's 86 rated. I don't know if he walks out. This is bloody mental. All we need really is a path to glory and we've absolutely smashed this pack open already and we're only three packs in. Oh my god. This game. What does it do to us? Okay, not a path to glory because none of the crazy flares. Is it another walkout? French. Cam. Leon. It's oh it's upgraded to Fecky. So we're going walkout 84. Walkout 84. Walkout next one? Oh my god, it is actually a walkout. It's actually a walkout. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! Why can I not have this pack lock on my actual account? <laughs> what is going on? This is like a walkout every other pack. This is stupid. Oh my god, I actually give up. This is ridiculous. Oh, we got one of these as well! Let's go. Okay, we might be able to trade him in and do some of the... How is he not the one popping up on the pack? That's well dead. Is normal platinum hot and non-rare or something? No, he's rare, but it's just because he's 78 rated. He's not counted as like a special card to come out on the front of the back. So we got a Path to Glory, a David Louise, and a Kadira. This is properly bonkers. That's in six packs. So every other pack is mental. So presumably, wait, we didn't even get the good flares for the Path to Glory, did we? That's really weird. Oh, that kind of glowed. Oh, it's an inform. That's why. All right, next pack. Who is this? Right wing. Oh, I, I see Faguli plays for them. I didn't even know. Okay. Inform Faguli in the next pack. Have we got anything else chilling in here? Maybe it is an Accordi or something, because apparently they don't come up. No. Alright, whatever. Not bad. Not bad. So we've got Walkout, Decent Pack. Walkout, Decent Pack. Walkout, Decent Pack. Walkout. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is actually proper stupid. <laughs> what have we got in this one? Come on, be a walkout. Brazil. Centre back. PSG. Oh, it was so close. It's not Thiago Silva. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. This is by far the best pack luck I've had on FIFA in a very, 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 very long time. It is incredibly suspicious. I am not going to lie. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's plunk these on the train transfer list because there were some coins because of the new SBC. Not sure whether I'll actually do anything with it, but... We've got five of these packs left to go. How many more walkouts can we get? How many more Path to Glories can we get? Is this one a walkout? Brazil. Right back. Danny Alves. All right. I don't think he walks out. No, he doesn't. I mean, there was a possibility he does because he's like one of the highest rated right backs in the game. If not, is he the highest rated right back in the game? I feel like I might be the actual highest rated right back in the game. Let me check. 
obviously excluding in forms, but like normal cards. Yeah, it's Ivanovic, Kyle Walker, Kimmich and Dani Alves and Carvajal are the joint ones, obviously with Kimmich getting his upgrades and I assume that's an upgrade for Ivanovic. Oh no, okay, that's a man of the match. It doesn't show as a special card on Foothead. So there's like the three of them. So it's potential to be a walkout, but yeah, he's not. Okay, 84. But what do we get after an 84 pack? We get a walkout. Yeah, don't forget about that. Come on, walkout. Chuck one in my next pack. Oh my God, I just nearly opened it with coins. It's a good job I've gotten them. Woo! That's the benefit of having a new, <laughs> new account. Come on, what are you chucking me this? Oh my God, what is that? What is this? Brazil, Cam, what on earth is this? Oh, it's that man of the match, Taliska. Sick, that's the guy who got me banned. He's a walkout, no. Oh, you just rubbing the salt in the wound. I got banned for this card name and he bloody put him in my pack. Told you we get a walkout after the next one and of course after had to be bloody Taliska. And we got an inform as well. Oh my Jesus, this is ridiculous. Is he still worth as much coins as when I bought him? Yeah, he's still worth about 120k. I think I got him for 150 and I went like that and clicked submit and <clears throat> rip Andy's account. <laughs> this is actually stupid. I've actually got more coins on this account than I have on my main one now. I mean, I've got an absolute ton of players on my main account that need to be sold. But when I sell these ones, I will genuinely have more. This is actually ridiculous. As if it's giving me him after he got my bloody account banned. What are we getting this time? Probably on 84, hopefully. Because then we'll get a walkout in the next one. Is, wait, is Manalas actually 84? Yes, he is. Okay, the 84 is back. Hit me with a walkout in the next pack. This is stupid! I don't, honestly don't I, does this, I think this basically confirms it, doesn't it? I bought, what, 1,200k packs and got absolutely... Whoa, 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 whoa. We got 10 and we didn't even get a board. Maybe it's only your first 10 packs. Because that was pack number 11 and all of them are 82 rated. Oh, no. My luck, has my luck run out? Do you only get it for 20k FIFA points worth? Do you only get it for 10 packs? Come on. Sort me out with something huge in the last one. It's back to being a board. Is it a walkout for the final pack? Walkout number four billion. No, it's Mario Balotelli. Okay. Well, I think this video has actually been a resounding success anyway. If we jump into our club and see some of the ridiculous stuff that we have just packed. Better than... 99% of stuff I have ever packed on my main account. I think I packed a Gareth Bale once and that was it. As I have now put in my security question and answer because I'm still setting this bloody account up. Let's go and see what we actually got. A man of the match Tiliske worth 130k. An informed Figuli. An informed Loughton. And one a path to glory Plattenhart. Walk out Ericsson. Walk out Iniesta. Walk out Miranda. Walk out David Luiz. In fact, because David Luiz walks out Miranda will as well, won't he? Which means them two came out together in the same bloody pack. Two walkouts in one pack. So what's that? We opened 12 packs and got one, two, three, four, five walkouts. One of them man of the match with 130k and three informs. That is properly ridiculous. I think that basically all but confirms it. I mean, like I said, scientifically, just using one one little bit of evidence or one little bit of research, one account, whatever you want to call it, in a study is not a very good way to prove something. But, I mean, let me know what you guys think because I'm certainly on the road to believing it. That was absolutely mental. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on this video. Hopefully by next week I've got my account back and we can get back to some normal videos on Tuesday and stuff. I'll try and get one sorted for tomorrow, but it's probably going to have to be like a Fortnite video or something like that if I do get around to recording one of them. But yeah, hopefully by next week, by Tuesday, we can get back to Squad Builder Showdown and stuff and I'll actually have my account back. I mean, we could just do Squad Builder Showdown on this telescale. Let me know what you think. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys as soon as I possibly can.